So during the um, ThingWorks monitoring overview video, I mentioned something at some point about um, using Azure metrics and uh, had a bit of a challenge. The challenge is that not all of my metrics are coming from the same tenants, Azure tenants, and I needed to figure out a way how I could get all these different metrics coming into the together in the same place. And I had to use different approaches to do so. So here you can see um, my um, my um, database for ThingWorks, right? Azure SQL that's on a particular PTC tenant here. And then we've got the IoT Hub that's over on this other tenant uh, that has a separate Active, uh, Active Directory, Azure AD. And, and this was kind of the, the challenge. On the IoT Hub one, I can use um, uh, system identities. And here I had to use a managed identity. So we're going to have a look at what that looks like. Uh, and basically using the, I think it's called the Azure Metrics Exporter Prometheus. And um, here you can see an example of monitoring as ooh, Promotor. I don't know what Promotor is. What are we looking at here? Yeah, that's not what we want. There is a, here it is, Azure Metrics Exporter for Prometheus, right? So Azure Metrics Exporter for Prometheus. And really what this is going to do is it's going to use uh, an agent that's running that's going to go and talk to Azure Metrics, that's going to get the metrics that we want. It's going to provide them on the Prometheus endpoint when they're scraped by Prometheus. Okay, so same deal. This is Go language compiled in Go or pulled down by Docker uh, container. And then we have essentially this configuration file that's going to provide the uh, Active Directory authority and um, the IDs that are that are the targets as well as resource groups and resource tags that we want to grab. So uh, let's have a look at what this looks like. Uh, I did mention er, at the beginning of all this the data sources for the um, the, the Azure AD where I can get connected, this one over here, I've just created, um, kind of have to remember where I did that app registration to old application. This is going to be mine, right? Grafana, Azure Monitor Data Source. That's uh, an app registration that's going to provide the access to Grafana to be able to get in here, application ID, object ID, etc. And um, also had to provide um, the, the permissions to go along with this. I believe this is in roles and uh, administrators. I'm not going to go into that. This is uh, covered in the Grafana's help file. So you just go to Grafana and look for how to do this in Grafana. That's explained. Frankly, that was the easy part. In order to get a data source for uh, Azure Monitor set up here with log analytics and metrics, the, the more tricky part was this other environment where I can't set up an, an app registration. And so what I did was I used managed identities as um, uh, where did my thing works go on um, thing works. So on the thing works machine here, you've got this identity option and a blade and on the identity blade you can set a system assigned managed identities and we can get this um, and we can get permissions set up so that this VM and aspects coming off of this VM will have access to other things within my Azure. So if we come over to the ThingWorks environment and have a look at how this is configured actually quite uh, straightforward. Same as the other ones, we've got a unit file, so it's running as a system service. Here on my ThingWorks machine, something called Azure something rather, 
as your monitor agent, as your monitor, as your VM. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Let's go and have a look here first. So here you can see I've got a number of uh, these exporters that are set up. Some of them that are actually not in use that I tried to use but didn't have any luck with. Uh, and All right, we're on the wrong machine here. I'm going to come back over to Prometheus. We're going to look at targets. We're going to find out where we're scraping that guy from. Job Azure. So here's this Azure job that's running. And where is this running on? Oh, it's running on Prometheus. It's, yeah. So it's running on that other system over here. I believe it's right here. Azure Metrics Exporter. So there's the binary. There's our configuration file. And Azure Metrics Exporter, same thing. Really, I use the same unifile across all the environments uh, with the created Prometheus user. Um, just needs a config file, and um, and then it'll go. So if we have a look at the so here, you can see that um, providing the uh, Active Directory authority credentials, a subscription ID that I want to speak with, and um, you know, getting into the specific um, specific metrics in question. Uh, I had gone into the SQL Server and looked around at the specific ones that were available just using the control panel. So if I come back over here and we come up to the, um, the SQL itself, Missed it. So here's the database. I just opened up the metrics, and if you're looking around here in the metrics, you can see okay that the standard database metrics that are here, and basically you can see everything that's in here. And you know, I chose the ones that were relevant to me and um, popped them in the list here. And one thing I will mention is that you can't do this too frequently because the API that's used for this metrics exporter is going to uh, rate limit. And so I had to set up a specific rule in the Prometheus scraper to scrape this particular endpoint less frequently um, than the 15 seconds. But that doesn't really matter because it doesn't, um, Azure Metrics doesn't keep such a fine grain resolution of the metrics anyways. I believe it's a minute resolution. So that's uh, that's that, and then uh, this guy is listening on Azure Metrics. 9276. Basically, as this exporter does, right, when we hit this address, it's going to tell it, go get those metrics. So it's going to look at the configuration file. It's going to look at what we've configured. It's going to go out and pull those back, and then it's going to represent them in Prometheus format. So here you can see you know, some of the configurations that I've done there. It's got the tags for the sub-resource, resource name, and you know, these are 
these are then available in uh, in Prometheus uh, as tags. So we can create our um, if we come back over to the dashboard, uh, back to Prometheus here, or sorry, Grafana. If we look at the Azure SQL database, you know you can see here that I've just taken the resource group. This is coming out of that uh, those tags, uh, and uh, it is set up in such a way that this dashboard that if there were additional additional databases that were being pulled in via that um, that exporter, then we would be able to specify the database here. And that is all. You are armed to build such a system on your own. Good luck.